This week, our awesome trainer, Seth, breaks down how to make a spaghetti squash. And no lie, I have been wanting to learn how to make this, so I'm extremely excited. Steph, show us how it's done. Uh. Yeah. Thanks, Andrea. Welcome to my kitchen, everyone. My name is Stephanie, personal trainer at Club Genentech, and I'm really excited to show you one of my favorite meals of all time, pesto pasta with beef and olives one of my favorites. And just to let you know, we're gonna be using spaghetti squash as our pasta for this meal. Enjoy. Okay, here are the ingredients for this recipe. Really excited about this. So we have our basil. You can use ghee or unsalted butter. Lemons for fresh squeezed lemon juice or lemon juice already provided in a bottle. Um, pine nuts, garlic cloves, kalamata olives, onions, spaghetti squashes, two of those olive oil, salt and pepper, and garlic powder. For today, I felt like doing something different, so I chose a ground chicken. I usually cook this meal with ground turkey. You could also do ground beef, okay? And um, it's really, really delicious, and I can't wait to show you guys. Woo! Okay, so one of the first things we're gonna do is put our oven to 425. I'm going to be cooking the spaghetti squash first. And with the spaghetti squash, with the spaghetti squash, we're gonna have to use some muscle. So we're gonna cut these in half. Okay, so I cut my spaghetti squash in half. I like to slam it a little bit. Please be careful when cutting this up, okay? You wanna make sure that the knife that you're using is big and it's sharp enough for this. All right, and there we go. Voila, our spaghetti squash cut in half. Okay, great. Now my spaghetti squash is cut in half. Next thing I wanna do, so I'm gonna grab a spoon. I'm gonna take out the seeds. Just scoop out the seeds and anything that's connected to the seeds and scoop it up. Nice and clean spaghetti squash. Okay, my spaghetti squashes are nice and clean. They're on some baking sheets and I'm gonna put these guys in the oven for 35 minutes. Okay, it's time for us to make our pesto. We're gonna begin with our two cups of basil, one third cup of pine nuts, and one garlic clove. You can smash it or you can mince it like I did. I'm gonna put it in a food processor or what I have is a ninja. So I'll be starting with that. Let's do this. I am so excited to be cooking with pine nuts as they are high in antioxidants, enriched in zinc, iron, magnesium, and vitamin A. Okay, so I hit the pulse button and now it's time for our next phase of the pesto. And by the way, I pulsed it for about 15 to 20 seconds. Okay, so next up is our olive oil, half a cup, half teaspoon of salt, and half a cup of lemon juice. I used two lemons um, to squeeze the lemon juice, or you could do the little lemons that are available at your grocery store that already have the juice provided. We're gonna put it in the, in the food processor now, AKA Ninja. Lemon juice. It's a great source of vitamin C and it improves your skin quality. How divine. Whew. Okay, so my pestle's all set. I just realized I, kind of, I could have put a little bit more basil, but anywho, totally up to you. Um, just make sure that you do those, um, you do the pesto in that way, just so that the basil could chop up more before you put in the olive oil and the lemon juice. Okay, spaghetti squash is all done. Time to take them out the oven and cool them down. Okay, now it's time to cook the meat, but first I'm gonna prepare my onions. I'm gonna cut half an onion, dice it up, and put it in the pan.
So I mixed it up, mixed up the meat with the onions. Next thing I'm gonna do is put my salt and pepper to taste. As much salt and pepper as you want for seasoning. I'm gonna have my salt here. And then I'm gonna add a teaspoon of my garlic powder. I use my, whoops. That wasn't planned. So I'm gonna use my um, regular teaspoon for my garlic powder. And then once I put all the seasonings in, I just wanna make sure that I mix it all up. Okay, so it looks as though my chicken, my ground chicken is fully cooked. What I like to do is, I like to just cut it up in half with my cooking utensil, the pieces of meat, just to make sure it's fully cooked inside. Once it looks nice and ready to be eaten, what we're gonna do is put this aside and start making our noodles. Okay, I have made my spaghetti squash. As you can see, I recommend using a glass bowl or a steel, stainless steel bowl because you're going to be um, transferring the meat in here and the meat is going to be hot. So, um, but first, before we do that, I'm gonna add my pesto, okay? Now, um, with this pesto, you can add a lot more basil. I think I added, um, I, think I should have added a little bit more, but um, anywho, this is the pesto, so you can put it all in the, the spaghetti squash, and then you're gonna mix it up. I just like to use the fork that I used with the um, with creating the spaghetti squash. Mix it all up. This, as you can see, is a lot and you can have this for a couple of days. You can, have, you can feed this with a family of three, four, even five. And if you're a vegetarian, you could um, take out the meat and roast some yummy veggies with it. And you know what, now that I think about it, that also applies with being vegan as well. Okay, so I mixed that all up. Now I'm going to add the meat. Okay, now for the meat, what I did was I transferred it to another bowl. Use another utensil. Let me take the fork out so it's easier to, to grab. I let it cool down a little bit too so it's not really hot on my hand. And I'm not gonna put all of it in. I'm just gonna probably put half of it. Then what I'm gonna do to finish it off is the olives, Kalamata olives. They're pitted and this is a cup. So I'm gonna throw it in there, ooh la la. Thank you so much for joining me today. I had a lot of fun making that recipe and I hope you enjoy it. Let's check out the final product. Yum. So there's a lot left. Um, so this is something you can have for your whole family, for, for lunch, dinner, what have you. You can also have a lot left over, so that's the fun part. Have a blessed day. Namaste. Okay, okay, you cut that thing like a champ. I think I might struggle a little bit more than you. We'll see how it goes. You guys, let us know how it goes for you as well. Always let us know if you threw in any other substitutions. See how you played around with the recipe on your own. As always, please like, subscribe, and share. We can't wait to see you until next week. Until next time, stay healthy. Uh.